Hello guys, this is question 4.4 of chapter 4 and the statement of it is a coin is biased such that a head is three times as likely to occur as a tail. Find the expected value of tails when this coin is tossed twice. Okay, so let me first uh, of it write the given data. So in given data, we know that the probability of heads is three times the probability of tails. So that's why three plus one would be four. So therefore the probability of heads is three times in four while the probability of tails is what? That is one times of one by four, okay? So that is the total probabilities what we have been given here. And here we can very easily see that in adding them together probability of heads, probability of tails, what would I get? It would be 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 and here it would be 1 and that is the essence of any probabilistic experiment that the probability distribution when added together we will get 1 out of it. So what do we have to find out here? We have to find the expected number of tails when this coin is tossed twice. Okay. So the sample space of it that is also in the given section. So the sample space of it is what? Let me write the sample space of it when the coin is tossed twice. So it can either have heads, heads, okay, or heads, tail okay or tail heads okay or tail tail so that is what that is the sample space what we have here and what do we want to find out we want to find out the expected number of tails and in finding the expected number of tails the formula we have is if we have the number of tails are represented with t and the random variable representing the number of tails are basically x so the expected value of x would be what that would be for x f of x okay where this i will be from one to any number of items here and this would be the subscript here okay so that is the formula for the expected value but we don't know this f of x okay here we want to find out this f of x and in finding it out here let me represent the number of tails here with x so in solving it that is the solution and here the probability that we have the number of tails is equal to zero that is what let me find out the events where the number of tails is zero and that is the only event which is here and the probability of heads heads we want to find out okay so as the two uh, events here are independent of each other so therefore it would be the probability of heads multiplied by the probability of heads as well let me multiply their probabilities which are three by four so three by four multiplied by 3 by 4 and it would be 9 over 16 okay so that is what that is for t equal to 0 or the x equal to 0 which is the number of tails in any event of tossing a coin twice so here we have similarly after it we have to find out the probability that the number of tails is one so what are those events we can see that this is and this one these are the two events where the number of tails is one so therefore we have to find out the probability of hats tail okay and tail hats okay we have to find out their probabilities that either this or this event can occur so we can see that here or is coming in between them so therefore oring means adding them together so therefore we will have here had tail or or plus probability of tail hats okay so this is what we have as again we can see that this these are basically the two separate tosses so the two events are independent of each other so their these events will be their probabilities will be multiplied with each other so probability of head multiplied by probability of tails plus the probability of tail multiplied 
by the probability of heads okay let me put their values and probability of heads is 3 by 4 probability of tail is 1 by 4 and probability of tail which is 1 by 4 multiplied by probability of head which is 3 by 4 okay so multiplying them together and adding them together as well because this is the or event because either of these events can occur as i have previously described so i will get here 6 by 16 which is for probability that tails equal to 1 okay so here also the last part is in which we want to find out that the probability that we have got two tails and that is the only event here in which we have got two tails so it would be probability of tails tail okay and as again the two events are independent of each other so probability of tail multiplied by the probability of tail multiplying their probabilities which are 1 by 4 multiplied by 1 by 4 so it would be 1 over 16 okay so that is for the tail equal to 2 now let me put them in tabular form so in putting them in tabular form here this is a table which is let us have this x the number of tail in two coin tosses and the distribution of it let me have here p of x here okay so the values of x can be 0 1 or 2 okay so these are what we had because previously we have seen that let me move upward here as well we have seen that the number of tails uh, in two coin tosses we can either have the value of it 0 or 1 or 2 okay we have also found out their probabilities as well so for 0 it was 9 by 16 for 1 it was 6 by 16 and for 2 it was 1 by 16 okay we can also see it very clearly that when these three will be added together i will get one and that is the prime condition for the probability distribution okay so that is what we had here now for finding the expected value of the random variable which is the number of tails in two coin tosses we have to use this formula okay in using this formula let me use the expected value of x and this would be what now i have to multiply the value of the random variable with its corresponding probability so therefore 0 will be multiplied with 9 over 16 okay and adding them with the other random variable multiplied with the corresponding probability i will have here 1 over 6 by 16 okay and after it we have 2 and multiplying it with its corresponding probability i will have 1 over 16 okay so after calculating them all and finding them i will get 8 over 16 which is 1 over 2 okay so the answer of it is what that is basically 1 over 2 and that is the solution of our question 4.4 so uh, that's it for today if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon